Good morning, everybody. So today I have a super exciting video. Um, we are going to be looking at Remy's nursery. So we have been working on this the last few months, um, just ever since we found out that it was a boy. Um, we kind of knew Charlie's nursery was like a very neutral white and gray and wood themed, um, like sky theme, um, which some of that stuff carried on into his room, but we like very gender neutral nurseries. Um, that are just kind of have like a modern touch to them and I don't know I guess just aren't super baby-ish if that makes sense <laughs> um, with like just all pink and blue and I don't know like cartoony kind of um, that's just not really our style so um, I don't really know if there's like an actual title, like a theme to his room. There was just a certain look that we were going for and so we would just add decorations here and there as we found them and as we liked. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we will just start at the very beginning and Charlie is joining us. She loves Remy's room. Any Remy, yes. <laughs> she also just got up from a nap, so excuse her hair. We have not even gotten dressed for the day. You love, yeah, Remy. So on the front of his door, um, we got this metal um, wild one sign from Hobby Lobby. Um, we just kind of like having a sign outside the door. Charlie also has one that says Babe Cave in black. So we wanted to get him his own little sign for his room. Um, on this first wall, we have these two, it's actually two separate crates that I got from Ikea and put together. Um, I don't exactly know what I want to use them for. The bottom one's actually empty. I just have like some newborn toys in the top. Um, and I don't know. I'll figure out. I kind of like them just like stacked right there. I think it looks cute. But we might eventually use them for something else or put them somewhere else in the room. Um, up here we got this uh, black plastic pegboard from Home Depot. Um, so it just comes four in a set. Um, and then they actually sell these baskets that hook in that I think these two mesh ones came together and then these three also came together in a set. So we bought those. And I just like the look of, I feel like it's a little more masculine for a little baby boy's room. And I think it's really, really cute organization above the changing table. So... Um, the furniture in his room, <clears throat> the changing table, the gray glider, and then also his crib 
We actually got all brand new on Facebook Marketplace. Um, there was a warehouse shutting down and they were selling everything extremely cheap. And so it was just a bundle um, that we got, um, like I said, just extremely cheap. Uh, we were really fortunate to find that. And we loved the colors. That's kind of where we started <clears throat> was with this furniture. And so we just kind of branched off of the gray and this like natural wood tone. Uh, that's kind of how we started with his room. So uh, I do not have a changing pad for him yet. Uh, Charlie's changing table was from Ikea and they have a different um, like size so I had to get a changing pad that specifically fit her changing table. It wasn't a standard one. So we did register for one. Um, so I'll see after our baby shower if we get it. And if not, we'll just run to Target and purchase one to stick up there. Um, these little organizational things just kind of clip on the side of like the crib or the changing table. Uh, this little one, a little trash can, and then this larger size one. Um, all from Ikea that we actually had in Charlie's room when she was little on her changing table. Um, and then this I just got free from Target for registering there. It's just a big changing pad that's not going to stay there. Um, I just didn't know where to put it yet. Um, I also got him some of these black organizational totes that go in drawers. Um, I don't know if I'll necessarily keep them like this or not, but I like the drawers to be a little bit more organized since the newborn and baby things are just so small. I don't want them just floating around everywhere in the drawers. Um, so that came with, I think, a pack of five. So those three larger ones and then this rectangle one and this little square one. So I don't know where this white one came from. I just have it. <laughs> So I think I might go back to Ikea and get another set of them so that I can actually fill the drawers with the organizational totes. But I like, I like that they're black. I think they look, I think they look really good. So, and I don't have anything in the third drawer yet. So moving on over here, um, I wanted some type of little nightstand or just like a little end table while I'm like rocking or nursing him in the glider. And so I found this at Ikea. Um, it's just black plastic and it's actually mounted to the wall so that the kids can't pull it down. But it was super easy to assemble. It was only $10 um, and it, I think it works out perfect. Um, this will probably not stay here. We got this little bat made for him and Branson when we were there last time. Um, but I got this light fixture from Ikea. <laughs> Um, super cute kind of goes with his room and it has a little like dial on the side that um, is a light dimmer so I can keep it super dim at night if I'm just like nursing him or I can turn it all the way on and not use the big light in his room but it's nice and the cord is kind of just goes down there and is hidden behind the changing table and I have oh so these came in a pack of six this was the sixth one um, but I just have my uh, cream in here for nursing that I used last time with Charlie and just some uh, breast like shields uh, for as well because I tend to leak a lot in the beginning so I have those just kind of sitting there I might rearrange this once he actually gets here I'm not really sure uh, those were the things that I wanted on hand uh, just some a few muslin blankets uh, the middle one I have like burp cloths and then the bottom one I have newborn uh, swaddles and sleep sacks. So um, whenever I had Charlie I feel like the light, my nursing supplies and then like burp cloths and stuff that's all what I wanted like right on hand right beside the chair right beside me. So some of these things might change but for right now I'm going to just keep them the way that they are. Uh, going over to this wall, um, those three wooden triangles are all three from Hobby Lobby. Um, two gray ones and then kind of like a dark stained wood one. And then these three hooks also came from Hobby Lobby. They were actually in Charlie's nursery, but they looked really, really good in here. And I like having hooks for just like a little cute jacket that he might wear often or to go ahead and put a bath towel on um, to dry after a bath 
Uh, so I just like the look of the little hooks in here. Uh, we got the window treatment. The, the blinds were already here whenever we bought the house, but the kind of like bronze curtain hook and then the gray curtains are from Walmart. Super affordable and they're just really nice thick blackout ones that are almost kind of like canvassy. Um, but they're they're really really nice quality. Um, so I was glad to find those at Walmart for a really affordable price. And then to finish off the wall, uh, this little scripture board was from Hobby Lobby, also in Charlie's Nursery. And the little bookshelves are actually spice racks from Ikea. Um, and I just saw this idea on Pinterest um, just to put a few books in a nursery. So I think that turned out really good. And again, just kind of goes with like the natural wood look that we wanted in here. So they match really, really well. And then I do have his Mamaru that was Charlie's. Um, it's not going to stay in here. So I don't exactly know what we're going to do with like this little area underneath the bookshelves. But I do want the Mamaru out in either like the living room or the kitchen or our bedroom while I'm getting ready. Um, I have a Mamaru and then I also in the closet have a uh, rock and play. So I'm going to be kind of putting those throughout the house whenever I need to put him down. So there's this little tiny wall that's just his closet that I'll show you in a minute. And then this cute little wooden moon that was also in Charlie's room and also from Hobby Lobby. So you can kind of get a sense of like her room was very um, gender neutral and modern, um, but like a sky, like a cute baby sky themed as well. Do you have your baby? Yeah, that's Remy's bed. Oh, she doesn't, she doesn't need to go in the bed, honey. She can stay with you. So moving on to my favorite wall in the room right here. Um, my husband actually did amazing on this faux wood wall. Um, it is all just peel and stick wood from Home Depot. And then there's two trim pieces on each side just to kind of finish it off. Um, it would not stick to the paint that we chose. Um, it's just like interior eggshell paint. For some reason they would not stay on there so we did have to use liquid nails on each individual strip but it actually didn't end up being that difficult um and it turned out amazing and we love the look of it in here so um again his crib just from the facebook marketplace all of the like bedding and um crib bumper and everything was charlie's i'm not exactly sure where we got all of that and he has some stuffed animals that are his and some that were Charlie's and her nursery that are just kind of gender neutral. <laughs> what is the matter? Um, so moving on, this kind of industrial looking like metal R is from Hobby Lobby, I'm sure. If you've been in there recently, they've had them forever. So that's where that is from. And then another Hobby Lobby find that was also in Charlie's room. We love the scriptures in here and um, just the white and wood look, just look really, really good. Um, ignore everything over there. That is all for his baby shower decorations. Um, I just didn't know, have a place to put it. Um, this hamper um, we actually got from Costco. I don't know if you can tell, it's just kind of like the rope and white and black. Um, and that kind of goes into the rug that we found for his room. Um, we got this from Hobby Lobby and it was super affordable. I just waited until it was half off and, um, actually my mom and stepdad bought us this for his room and it only ended up being, I think like, like less than $25 and it's a, I would say maybe like four and a half by three and a half feet. It's not like huge, but it works great for his room. Um, and then underneath his crib, I actually have this organizational tote that also came from Ikea that I love. If you need organization, that is definitely the place you need to go, but it just unzips and Charlie loves it and fits under his crib great. And they have different colors. 
Um, hey, don't stand on it, honey. But I, that is where, at least right now, I'm just keeping <laughs> excess like diapers and wipes and stuff so that I can use the storage space underneath his crib and not take up a bunch of like drawer space or closet space. And it just easily slides back under. It's awesome. And then it's concealed. Um, I know some people will use it for storage, like underneath their bed for shoes they don't wear often to not take up closet space. Um, so eventually it might change and not be diapers and wipes, but for right now, and I know after the baby shower when we get a lot more of those, I just don't want to eat up his entire closet because he has a fairly small closet. I just don't want to eat it all up with boxes and packages of diapers and wipes. But the last and final wall, and I'm sorry I'm 32 weeks pregnant, and so I get out of breath when I move around a bunch and talk a bunch. But this is the last wall. Charlie. Charlie seriously loves this room. I keep the door shut, so anytime she can come in here, she just explores. Did you drop a toy in there? So this last wall, um, this, again, is a Hobby Lobby find. Um, actually, everything up here. That was in uh, Charlie's room in her nursery above her crib. What is the matter? What's the matter? Do you have a toy? Look. Um, so that was in her nursery and then just recently bought these things. Um, I loved this little sign. Um, it was just a few dollars at Hobby Lobby, but I loved that the triangles kind of went along with the black and the triangle theme that we have over there. And then these little wooden letters um, are his initials. Um, I mean, minus his last name, but his name is Remington Arthur James. So I loved those little wooden uh, letters that were also only a few dollars at Hobby Lobby. And then I wanted some kind of cute decorative uh, place for uh, binky storage so that they wouldn't be like out all the time. And so I don't have any in there yet because I just don't know if he's going to like soothies or um, I know we have a couple of Wubbinubs and that Charlie never liked. Um, or we might just try a different brand, but I will stock this up um, eventually. But I liked, this also was from Hobby Lobby. And I liked kind of the contrast with the rug, um, but stayed with like the theme in the room. So I love that. And then this giant organizational um, like cubby storage was from my mom and stepdad as well. I don't exactly know where they purchased it, but... They were getting rid of it um, and were really, really generous just to give it to us for his room. But it has a ton of storage space um, and looks really, really cute on this wall in his room and goes along with the theme that's in here. And all of these gray cubes, like little cubbies, were from Walmart. And I think they were all only like six or seven dollars each, so like super affordable. And I don't have stuff in all of them, hardly any of them actually, because they're just, they're the biggest cube that you can buy. They're I think like 12 by 12, or I think that's what it is. But we have like some shoes and accessories and stuff in here that I didn't have a place for. So that is the overview of his room. Um, his closet right now is not, I will say is not done. Um, the bassinet and the extra seat go to our Up A Baby Vista stroller and I just didn't want to store them like in the garage or like, I don't know, them get messed up or like musty smelling at all. So I just put them in his closet. And then also his rock and play is back there, um, an extra diaper bag. And then I have like some packages over here that his dock tot and like the little lounger boppy lounger uh that's what i store them in when i'm done using them um and then like up here is just a mess right now <laughs> i have multiple little like cubes and like different baskets and organizers that just have clothes that will be way too big for him at first and i have two little what are they called boppy pillows like for nursing and stuff and like a little Johnny's, you, you probably can't see it, but like a little door jumper and stuff over here. 
So this is just basically storage for now of stuff that I don't need or like this pink one is girl stuff like blankets and bib, bib, um, bibs and burp rags. I couldn't spit it out that I won't be using for him. So just all storage right now that will eventually be reorganized. And then I have this storage system that goes either in a closet or it has these hooks right here that can go like on the inside of a door. Um, that I just have like nursing covers, I have extra changing pad covers, and then just extra like receiving blankets in right now. And then these are some of the clothes that we have for him so far. And I will go through probably during like a baby shower haul or something. I will go through like everything clothes wise and stuff that we have for him. And then over there, I just have a couple of extra, um, or not extra, but I have a couple different styles of baby carriers. So, oh, okay, you want the door shut? That is not your binky. That binky's way too little for you. That's a newborn binky. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this nursery tour. Um, I will say it is... 95% complete. There might be a couple little things that we add here and there. Like I said, like the changing pad that's not there. We're going to get some binkies to fill up the little binky jar. Um, and then also on the wooden wall, I'll show you. Um, I believe over here, because you can kind of see there's like a little section that kind of connects these two walls. It's not like a 90 degree angle. But on this little wall, I think we're actually going to hang or mount his uh, camera that's going to be facing over his crib. And there's also an outlet over, like behind the crib over on this wall. So I will show you, I'll insert right here. <clears throat> um, the it, we're just going to get the exact same camera that we have in Charlie's room. And downstairs in the basement in the playroom we have one as well. Um, they're really affordable cameras. And so we're just going to get the camera and a mount and put it up there on that wall but we will add that stuff eventually before he gets here and honestly he's not even going to be in here for um i think charlie was in our room for the first five or six months um just so that i can quickly get her at night for nursing um he might nap in here throughout the day when i'm down here but he's not going to sleep in here what's the matter but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed his nursery and got some inspiration. If you have a baby on the way or here and want to change up their room, what is the matter? Charlie would like me to be done for the day. So, um, but leave comments down below, subscribe to my channel, and we just can't wait to bring you along this journey when Remy actually gets here. So, 